way on my YouTube page so that you can always have access to it. You can do a class at three o'clock in the morning on Thursday. <laughs> I won't be there, but you might. You never know. You might wake up with a case of whatever. Anyway, happy Wednesday. It's great to see you all. What a nice turnout. So I've got my I do what I want a kitten t-shirt on because he does whatever he wants. Now, I'm not allowed to do whatever I want because that's never led to anything good. Close your eyes with me and we'll start. Uh, we'll start an experience together. We're not sure what's going to happen. That's okay. Uncertainty is means potential. Here comes B. Smittens with his mouse. He's going to drop it right in front of me. Don't look. It's unbearably, impossibly cute. Sorry about my kitten obsession. I'm going to do a program for it. Kittens Anonymous. Relax. Everything is everything is always working out for us. I've had to remind myself that for the last two days with my car um, in the shop and breaking down and block tow trucks and everything is always working out for me. You never know when something random or awkward or seemingly a dilemma will lead to something wonderful. God works in mysterious ways, her wonders to perform. Certainly not conventional ways. Let's chant Om together, you beauties. Nice big inhale. Oh. Would you raise your hand if you can hear the mouse squeaking? I'm just curious. Can you hear? Okay. All right. Duly noted. I'll try to keep it semi under control. Seated forward fold while I try to figure that out. Come on down. He squeaker of the mouse. He was at the State of the Union last night. Now squeeze your shoulder blades together because <laughs> you were anyway. And relax your shoulders apart, soften your armpits. We're going to do some movements we've not done for a while, but we'll do some that we have. What are you doing? You're crazy. Two more breaths. Yoga Chitta Vritti Narodaha. Yoga Chitta Vritti Narodaha. Yoga, bliss, is the termination of the turbulence of our mind. Please come up. Inhale. How long does kittenhood last? About a year? Two years? Six years? Arms forward, draw in, give a little rub as you go by. Come forward. Welcome if you're new. I see a couple of new names, it seems like. And so if you haven't done this before, good, because it's good to do weird things round the front. But you'll never meet nicer people. Hands by the side of your side, drop your chin, make ujjayi breathing, soft, whispery, Seashell sound at the back of your throat. Good. We can push our arms out. Open your eyes if you like, unless you like the other way. Arms out. Make a circle back. I rode my bike 30 miles today down to San Ramon and back to rescue my car. Ouch. And around and back and up and out. Good. Now gather up all this prana, light, love, bliss, ananda, and please bring it into your heart. Drop your chin. And you know me, I cordially invite you to pray and bless over yourself. It may seem narcissistic and arrogant and presumptuous, 
three of my favorite qualities. So bless yourself indeed. Love, light, truth, understanding, health. How about some abundance? Fun, interest, creativity, service. Very good. Please switch cross of legs. Please come forward. Yes, some movements we've not done for a while. Come on down, but not yet. Now, if your elbows fit on a block or the floor, I really like the elbows forehead thing. There was a band in the 70s. They had a song. It had a lyric. Could, could you put your hands in your head? Super Tramp, if you were alive in the 70s. Most of you are too young for that. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. You're right where you're supposed to be. Boy, that seems wrong sometimes. I'm certainly supposed to be someplace else, aren't I? You know, gently rub your forehead for some soothing, calm, Stuff. All right, please come up. Okay, back to regular cross. Whatever that is for you, it can be a stronger cross. Flip, flip, both feet and lotus. Are you one of those peeps? I know a lot of people, they never couldn't do it. Drop your chin, take your head around eight times. Now remember, because you're doing this at the same time, other like-minded souls are revolving their heads around. There's an increase or an amplification of the benefit. You might think that's a load of hooey, but you'd be wrong. Six. Seven, eight, other way. Do relax your shoulders. It's a ritual. Ritual is powerful. Ritual might be one of the best parts of religion if you're a religious person. Six, seven, eight. Relax your head down. Close your eyes. I accept exactly where I am and who I am right here, right now, as crazy as that might seem. The next step up from that is being grateful for exactly who we are and where we are and what we have right now. Good. Now, here's a fun one. We just haven't done it for a while. You just lay on your back, your left ankle over your right. You grab your feet, and it's just a variation of roly-poly guacamole. You just roll it out. Or you can stretch your feet and your ankles. It's not necessarily the most complicated movement of all time, but... Works. But now, lift up your head and look up over your ankles. Squeeze your knees into your armpits. Switch the cross of your anklets. Roly poly. This is how we roll. By the way, when you do this, there's a weird dynamic. You move ever so slightly forward, like by about a millimeter every time you do it. So if you ever need to get somewhere slowly, like the dentist or the CPA, do this. Stop in the middle, look up over your ankles, knees and your armpits. Okie doke, and then we'll roll up. We'll stick the dismount with our hands and feet together. We'll clap that we're in class. You know why another reason we'll clap? 
is because it's not Monday class and it's just kind of mellow. It's a nice way to do it. Uh oh, are you going to attack my feet? Yes, you are. Grab your great toes. Okay, and then carriage pose. You're out in the snowy day riding the carriage. It's war and peace, and you're out in the snowy carriage and having the time of your life. Inhale, exhale, just open out a bit. Inhale, brings them in. Now, maybe you're not so flexible that when you extend out, you can do it all the way, but you can just do what you can and bring it in and out and in. One more time, exhale. And bring them in, you guys. Okay, feet together. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you just a little bit. You're it's Wednesday. I don't want to hurt anybody. That's Monday's class, but you can have your feet side by side. If you want to put your right ankle over your left ankle just to squeeze out some uh, painful patterns of perception, do that. But I'm not gonna make you okay. And come down. Calm down. Now, sometimes the feeling of your feet makes your shoulders want to squeeze forward. It's kind of unconscious. Relax your shoulders. Feel your feet. Smell your feet. Have you ever noticed other people's feet smell really bad and yours smell mm, not that bad? Inhale, look forward at your cat. Exhale, deepen. Attendance is up 600% since Todd and Jennifer got me a kitty. No more cats for me. Okay, come on up, kids. Now, if you were kind of mailing it in and just had your feet together, that's okay. Otherwise, it's time to switch the cross because when you stretch your high ankles, it relieves years of um, PTSD in just minutes a day. Come on down. Now, as you come forward, let your feet, don't let your feet turn into foot fists. Let them turn into soft feet. Maybe move your head around. The throat is soft. The neck is pliable. The You're a giraffe on muscle relaxants. So a giraffe walks into a chiropractor. <laughs> I'm having neck problems, he says. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come <laughs> down. No laughing, yoga is very serious. All right. Come on up, kids. Now, flippity jip at that right shin under, left knee out to the side. This is as key and as crucial a seated posture as there is. And I can only do it on one side, which means I'm a perfectly balanced person. Bring your right elbow down to the floor like our friend Stephanie. It sure is good to see her. It's good to see all you guys. We are the coolest of the yoga tribes. Turn your chest up a little bit. Stretch that left elbow up. Make some space where there weren't space before. Good, now put your right hand on the floor. And if you're an exceedingly bendy bear, you can work your right elbow all the way down. That would bust me in half. Reach up with your left arm like this and just tilt over a wee bit more. Relax those shoulders away from your ears. Now, slightly bend your elbows. That will relax your shoulders. Now, strike a pose. Good. 
Good kids. Now come on up. Okay, now a third of you can just come back on your hands. Another third of you can easily go to your elbows. Another third of you can lay on your back. And the fourth third of you can't even lean back at all. Which third are you in? Okay. If you're in the third who can easily lay all the way on your back and you never couldn't, why not just extend your left leg out as well, just to get some bonus points tonight? If you're one of those that's kind of in that hideous place between your hands and your elbows, just suffer productively. By that, I mean breathe into it. Try not to develop resentments. Close your eyes, it's darker. Two more breaths. It's not everybody's favorite, but it is crucial. All right, help yourself up, help yourself. Now, while you guys were relaxing on your back, I surreptitiously and sneakily snuck over to this side by folding my left shin under, which I would never do unless my butt was very lifted. But that's, I've had a butt lift. Relax your hands behind your head and bring your, uh, bring your left elbow all the way down to the floor. I have to kind of fake it on this side. Now I will say if you're already getting like about as much sensation out of this as is apropos for you, cool. Otherwise, left hand on the floor and then see if your left elbow will come down without your ribs poking out of your skin on the right. Right arm way up, lean a little more, slight bend to the elbows, look up to heaven. Good. That's all of that one you need to do about twice a week, always with me. Okay, now a third of you on your hands, another third on your elbows, a third lying flat on your back like it's nobody's business. You never couldn't do it. And then one more third of you doing something unlike anything I've mentioned so far. That's, that's a lot of uh, liberty there, isn't it? Now, I've got one of those rare kittens who'll sleep on his back and throw his arms up over his head. It's impossibly cute. So if you do that, if your arms go up over your head in this pose, then you still have kitten status. Not many people do. Maybe I can't lean all the way back in this pose. I still talk a good game. And I did ride my bike for 30 miles, so there. Good, now while you're in the pose, take the biggest inhale that you can, which may not be the biggest. Inhale, exhale, let it go. All right, and then let's come up out of this, okay? All right, and then we'll return to our seat. Hey, you. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew this or not. I'm allergic to cats. Just kidding. Sorry if my cat antics um, Bobby. <laughs> okay, feet together. Now pull your heels all the way into your bottom like Kristen. 
rewrap a couple of times tightly. Squeeze the heck out of yourself. Relax your shoulders though. Just simple human movements, carefully curated into a brilliant sequence by a humble teacher, all designed to release a synchronistic, synergistic release of love, bliss, joy, ecstasy within you. That's my intention. So, so there. Two more breaths. Notice how you never get sick and you never have an injury and you always feel perky and frisky and et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to take credit for that. Partially. Roki dokie. All right. Now, we're kind of set up. We're going to do, um, normally we do table with our feet together. I'm sorry, with our feet apart. Feet together table. Lift up. Super table. Good. Now, with your feet together, widen your knees so we can see each other. My cat has gone underneath me, so uh-oh. Cross your right thigh over your left. And several of you bendy bears will slink your right ankle underneath your left ankle, yes. Then sit with your knees and ankles crossed. Turn your hands around backwards so that your little fingers are on the inside. Try to touch your little fingers together behind your back. So I got you tied up in a, in a ball now, don't I? Knees and ankles crossed, touching your little fingers behind your back. Now let your elbows bend backwards and drop your chin. Let your, let your arms bend backwards, sink into your wrists and your hands as much as you can. Okay, now from here, come up enough to maybe widen your hands and stabilize them. And then I want you to lift your butt as high as your butt can currently go and stand up on your left tippy toes. And all that compression to all this extension, push your chest out through your shoulders, relax your hair back like a shampoo commercial. Good, and drop your heel butt down, sorry. Now, walk your hands as far forward as you can. Maybe come up onto your fingertips and see if you can come far enough forward to balance on your left foot without putting your right foot down. There's only one of us in this class that can do that, and that's Stephanie, but the rest of us can try. Good, now sink down out of this. And from here, I want you to wrap up over your top knee, the left one. Rest your head down. If you feel you'd be happier with a blanket underneath your head, do that. Just pull in really strongly. Are you staring at me? Good. Now lift up and touch your knee to your nose. Now let go of your knees and hold your knee on your nose and your nose on your knee as strongly as you can. Positively squish your nose. Looney just spit at me. It's so funny. He spits sometimes. Good. Head down, legs all the way up. And the splits, not sure this is a good idea with Looney lurking above me here. Do not jump on me right now, my friend. Legs way out, stir your ankles around. Hello, I got it. Other way, how'd you get away? All 
All right, let's squeeze our legs back together, shall we? Bend your knees, grab outside your feet, and we're gonna do outside your foot grabbing happy baby pose for a moment, just to release our southern hemispheres. Knees on the floor, huh? Come on. We all used to be able to do it when we were babies. Okay, kids, roll up. Okay, feet together. Slide in pretty far. And hands point forward. And Table with your feet together, heels down, lift up as high as you can. Functional body movement. Okay, now sink down. Now this time, if memory serves and it frequently doesn't, put your left knee over your right. Wag your foot with attitude like you're kind of distressed with somebody. Good, and then slink it under, cause you can because you can slide in as far as you can without busting your tights. Now turn your thumbs to the outside and touch your little fingers together behind your back. I'm partially kidding and I'm partial. There's a damn cat mouse behind me there. Get out, out of the way. All right. Now elbows bend way back. Drop your chair. Drop your chair. Your wrist should be um, barking at this, the feeling of touching your elbows together behind your back, dropping your chin, stretching the long loping back of your neck. Really a good one. Now widen your hands out, stabilize your hands so you feel solid and positive, and then Blast off up on your right toes. Now, of course, this is to be done with your knees and ankles crossed like, eh, you know, half of you. And the other half, no. And then the third half, maybe. Oh, this gets us out of ourself. Do you ever need to get out of yourself? You just want to get outside of yourself. Me too. All right, and then please to sink down. Now with your knees and ankles remaining crossed for a few more moments, slide in as far as you can, and then come as far forward over your right foot. Now, I will allow you to bring your left foot down in front of you as long as your right heel stays down. That's, that's like one in 10,000 humans, roughly. And the people can do it. They wonder why other people can't. It's like, why can't other people do that? What's wrong with them? It's a valid question. Okay, come on down. All right, now from here, we're on our back. Knees and ankles are still crossed like me, right? Lie, grab your uppermost knee, rest your head down, drop your chin. I hope you have a cat to look up to on your ceiling or something pleasing up there. Squeeze. My kitty barely fits in the little bins on this cat tower. Looney bins, we call them. But now lift up and squeeze your knee into your nose, your nose into your knee. And it's easy to get your knee on your nose when your hands are on your knees, huh? Now hold that, but let go of your knees and Make a pug nose, smash your nose. I want you to look like Rocky Marciano. You know who that is? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Head down, yay. Legs fly up to the ceiling, feeling free as a bird. Legs widen out into full 180. Ankles, five, four. Three, two, one, two, three, four, 
five and just a little core strength so we feel good about ourselves fingertips on the back of your head 10 9 8 7 6 my hot tub is in my front yard and occasionally neighbors walk by and i have to keep my abdominal wall looking presentable where are, where are we at six five four three two one bend your knees grab outside your feet and this is where the elite meet to stretch open their seat and i don't know how to say this delicately but you should feel kind of a crotch ripping groin rending stretchy feeling in your under parts Knees, but the butt doesn't lift and the knees go on the floor. Your chin drops. Everyone would be so much happier if they would just do this stuff, but they don't. And they just get crinkled and crabby and crusty and congealed and conglomerated and other C words. Okay, we should roll up now because we have so far to go. We're back up now, kids. We're crossing our legs. Yes, we are. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, tuck your index finger into the base of your thumb. Let the other fing three fingers extend out. Now I want you to ask yourself, based on the way that your shoulder girdle is shaped, does it feel better with your palms down or does it feel better with your palms up when you rest your mudra on your knees? So try both and then go with the one that's most delicious. Close your eyes, drop your chin. Take your attention to your third eye, that mystical, magical, shining third eye that we all have but aren't quite tapped into yet. Just focus there and breathe. We're just knocking on the door. If you knock, it's opened. It's just that the door is kind of thick sometimes. There's the kind of happiness that comes from everything going our way and everything working out perfectly and getting everything we want. There's that kind of happiness. That's nice when you can get it, isn't it? Then there's the kind of joy that comes from the pure bliss of being independent of circumstances. Ah. When you find that, you found the pearl of great price. Otherwise, we just kind of struggle to make everything perfect all the time. Good luck. Chant Om together, and then we'll move on with weird movements. Big inhale. Oh. Feel that spread from head to toes and then bounce back from toes to nose. Be unusually happy for no reason. Then you can be happy for every reason. Okay, we'll build a couple things we haven't done for a while from all fours. So all fours, if you would.
we're cat cowing. Now, somebody might be catting while you're cowing. That's okay, because we're all share the same spine. We're just one person. We just think we're different. A couple more. Good. Now, round up into your best cat. Make Looney proud. Round that spine. Tuck your tail under. Drop your chin. Squeeze your guts. Good, and then sink down into your best anti-cat. Don't throw your head forward, but just sink your lumbar and your chest as deep as it might currently go. Don't jam, relax your spine open. This might flare your tail feathers, which is kind of a polite way to say it, I guess. What'd you do today? I flared my tail feathers, what'd you do? <laughs> Nothing like that, mind you. Now tonight we're just gonna do the strengthener version, just left leg back, right arm out, no big. Now this time take your right arm under, but don't touch your right elbow or right shoulder. Twist as much as you can, bring your left leg up as high as you can, and only in an emergency, in the event of a water landing, are you allowed to bring your right shoulder or elbow down? So I just want you to turn a lot, and then I want you to turn some more and bring your leg up higher. This is, uh, this really isn't yin, but we've been relaxing a lot. Twist more. My spine just went crack as I reached my right hand three more inches out. Good, now relax on your right shoulder. Ah, keep your left hand down, left leg up. Not a problem, barely an inconvenience. Rest here. Your dryer's broken, you gotta dry your uh, bloomers. So you're just out in the front yard, kinda. Good, now, you know how we always reach up and grab the left ankle? We're gonna do something different. Bend your left knee so it's kind of over your left ear. Take your left hand underneath your left knee and grab your left great toe. Now, if you can just do this, this is totes cool. Otherwise, we're just gonna do the breath. Inhale, exhale, stretch your left leg all the way out in front of you and then lift it up to the ceiling in Barbara Bessie pose. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, totes straighten it out, and then lift it up to the ceiling. <laughs> I say it, but it's not happening, but I swear that I'm trying. Good, now bring your left hand down and take your left leg all the way back up to the ceiling again. Good, and then bring it down. Now line up your knees, stay down. We're on our right shoulder. Take your left arm up to the sky, tuck it all the way around behind your back. Wrap your left hand inside your right thigh. And now we're gonna do the happy inversion, inversion, reversion, aversion. We're gonna stretch our neck. We're gonna do a twist. We're gonna do an inversion. We're gonna probably drool. We already did the hard part. We got business before pleasure, right? Kind of smashes your face so you can smile bigger. Okay, now get out of that mess, kitty cats. Come out and perform a couple of cats and cows to get any dents out of your body. I thought that sequence was a perfect blend of uh, rigor and relaxation. Rotate them, pelvises. Good, now round up into best, best in show cat. Drop your chin, squeeze your guts, round your spine.
Good. Best cow. Best cow. I give my cow a solid C minus, roughly. Not that I grade myself harshly. When I do a cow, it doesn't even look like my spine bend, bends very much. Some people look like, you know, people that are really bendy. You know who you are. Okay, and then firm, straight, stable, and solid. Left arm out, right leg back. Whoosh. Good, now left arm comes under, but does not touch the floor. And I want you to reach your left hand. There's a hundred dollar bill about four more inches out in front of you. And I want to reach, want you to reach out and get it. Not that money's a motivation or anything, right leg all the way up. Now you might be a little shaky, but that's, there's such a thing as positive stress. You feel it and then you relax and then you feel it and you relax. You don't feel it all the time. Turn more, lift higher, stretch more, be happier, big smile. And stay here. Now relax on your left ear and left shoulder. So happy. Right leg all the way up. Wave into the neighbors with your left foot. Hi, you guys. You try having your front yard and your backyard and your front yard. Good. Now bring your right knee over your right ear. Reach underneath your right knee. With your right hand, grab your right great toe. Just do that. Sorry, I had to, had to put a cushion underneath my knee. Okay, I'm grabbing my right toe just like you are. So if nothing else, we're sharing this bizarre experience together. This is, I don't know anybody else who gets together and does this. Inhale. Exhale, straighten your right leg and then lift it up to the ceiling until your pants Stretch, good, inhale, bend your right knee, bring it all the way back in. That's an inhale, exhale, stretch open. Oh, this is good for you. It doesn't seem like it now. Inhale, bend it, bring it all the way in. Exhale, straighten it all the way out and then lift it up. Lift it way up, press into your left forearm to bring your right leg up higher. Good, now. Do take the leg up again as high as you can, way up. Ooh. Good, now bring your right knee in for a landing, but stay on your left shoulder. Oh, it feels good. Right arm up, tuck it around behind your back. And for you long arm praying mantis critters, the right hand goes inside your left thigh. A couple of you are doing that. I'm not jealous. I am. Good, now just rest in face plant pose. Neck stretch, body twist. There's, there's a blend of relaxation and stress in this pose, isn't there? That's yin. Two more breathings. Good, take your right arm back up, kids. Bring her down, press out. And now, just, just one super cat. Now, when you're in super cat, the feeling of your elbows moving in a little closer, your hands widening out a bit, your shoulder blades pulling down your back a little bit. So we want to reduce tension around the neck. We want our arms in extension, but one way to do that is to kind of rotate your shoulder blades outward and pull them down your back.
All right, and come up out of that. Have a sit, please. <clears throat> Arms out. Now, this is my real right hand. So it's odd for those watching, but bring your right hand down to your right knee, please. Curve your left hand. Curve your left hand around till it comes to your chest, little finger side. Relax this left shoulder, make sure it's happy. Make the okay symbol with your right hand. Curve it around so this little finger side comes in and your uh, three fingers make a little tent. Drop your chin, close your eyes. And I like to say, let your hands exert a tug. Your hands exert a tug on your heartstrings. And then blend together the uh, extraordinary power of your head, hands, and heart. Gather in. We are calm and peaceful yogis most of the time. And when we're agitated and crabby yogis, our ability to become calm and peaceful again is improving. Progress, not perfection. Good, thank you for that. Now, you know what we didn't do after that? That one kind of makes my wrist semi-crabby, so just roly-poly it out a bit. Can't imagine going a day without doing this. Don't do it when you're driving unless you have a Tesla, other way. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could sit in a car and let it drive me. I just, I'm just not designed that way. Shake your hands out. If you'd like to give me a Tesla and let me try it, okay. Flippy flops. Good, now fast as you can for supple, happy wrists like that would make hummingbirds jealous. Cup your hands at your heart and feel, close your eyes and I encourage you to feel receptive, receptive, open, great good flows into my life because it makes my source happy to bestow goodness upon me like you feel spectacular when you give your kids beautiful gifts. Nothing makes you happier. Do they appreciate it? No, still makes you happy. Okay, and we got a nice concluding sequence. I think you'll like it. And so you could just sit with your legs crossed if you're pretty tight. You could kind of bring your uh, left foot over your right. And otherwise, we're going to tie ourselves into a Gordian, not an accordion, a Gordian knot with your left knee on top of your right like this. I like to lean forward and kind of smush down into my feet. Imagine you had those tennis shoes that have the Velcro um, straps on it. I may have to get some of those because I almost bleed to death when I try to tie my shoes now. I think you know why. Arms out. Hey, big hug, big group hug, right arm under, ups and downs. I know we do this almost every class, but if, if nothing else, even if we don't gain more suppleness, we won't lose what we have. And that's, that's as good as gaining. Penny saved is penny earned. Elbows all the way to the right. Tilt face, turn face all the way to the left. Drop your chin. Honestly acknowledge if a overwhelming sense of bliss and joy is erupting in your nervous system. Really? When does that happen? Pretty soon. Okay, now come back here. Now, at least your right elbow on your uh, left knee is sufficient. 
Bendy bears will suck their guts in and work right elbow down over here. And freaks of nature will bring both elbows down to the floor without any problem whatsoever. Next, we'll relax. Now, now instead of your feet, your butt is Velcroed to the floor, so it's not allowed to lift. Close your eyes. We're squeezing out the wine skin so we can get some new grape juice. Now, extending down into your elbows in your rear, inhale, look out into the left, long extendo spine. Exhale, deepen down a wee more, just a wee more. Right there, right there. Now, even though you're where you're at and I'm where I'm at, wherever that is, we're we're feeling we're connected via some much deeper transmission of energy. Rokey doke, come up, kids. Oh. Huh. All right. Now take these legs. Ooh, and around. Now, if you get stuck here, that's okay. Pull your knees so they line up. There's a variation of this pose where you keep tucking your feet all the way under and you cross your ankles and no, nope. a couple of you could do that. So if, if you're just feeling like, hmm, Greg just said knees on top and lift my butt and cross my ankles. I think I should try that. Go ahead. I can see a couple of you trying that. I can see a lot of you not trying that. Arms out. I don't blame you at all. I have things to do tomorrow. Good, now left arm under, ups and downs. If you can cross your knees and cross your ankles and sit on your feet, good for you. Now, if you have a young child, a couple of you do, or if you have a young grandchild, Ask them to do that and they'll laugh and wonder why you can't do it. Elbows all the way to the left, face all the way to the right, drop your chin, close your eyes. Grandma, what happened to you? <laughs> we are calm and blissful yogis. We know where the well is. We stray from time to time, but we know where to go. We know where the well is. Okay, and from here, we just release. Finishing twist is just this. Left elbow on your right knee. Leverage the spine over, appropriate. Left elbow starts to dig down toward the floor. Both elbows start to I remember when both elbows would come down so easy, so easy, and then they wouldn't come close. Then I lost 50 pounds and I could almost do it. And then I gained 10 back and blah, blah. Now I want your head to be like a turtle kind of feeling it extend out. While your turtle head comes out, relax your shell down your back. $3 metaphors. We had a chance to do some accessible stuff, some medium stuff, some invitation to try some spicy stuff. Good smorgasbord, good. Stay in the pose, inhale as much as you can because you can't. Exhale and then let your whole life out so far. Die to this moment so we can be reborn in this one. Now extract slowly from squeezy poses. Oh, oh, perfect timing. Please Un unfurl yourself on the floor. Refurl, unfurl, squirrel. You see my cat in the medium bin there? You see that? Do that. 
Okay, on your back, please. Now, I promise to be quiet for six minutes. I know you don't believe me. Sorry, I do have to say swallow once and circle your jaw around.
Okay, stay in the pose, relax more, be a sponge, be a sponge in the ocean, just soak up a little more ocean. We'll never get all of it, just soak up a little more. And from the Church of Greg, if you'd like to invite the whole ocean into yourself to collaborate and cooperate, you could do that now. Come on in, ocean, you might say something like. But now as you feel that flood, that incoming tide, wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate extra super feel good through yourself. Color your body with beautiful colors. Good, take a breath back inside your meat vehicle. Good, and we'll curl on to right side. Love all over yourself. Err on the side of extra love. I don't think you can. Okay, then with eyes closed, we'll sit up together, arranging our beautiful spines into a forest of cosmic antennas. All pointed north. Pause into our heart with pause at your heart. And we'll drop our chin and we'll feel holy, sacred, and reverent for a moment. You get to choose toward what? The thing you love, honor, and respect the most. Sharing that beautiful feeling all together, the relaxed Wednesday yogis, we all say, Namas Wednesday, Namas Wednesday. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, that was good. You know, I'd wake my cat up and bring him down here, but I would be scratched to smithereens, but I'm sure you get the idea. That's what we just did. Let's go to gallery views for pixelated interactions.